Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here. So I am still on my Metallics kick. I just can't help myself. So I'm going to bring back an old favorite, the Wandering Ring Pour or the Traveling Ring Pour as some people call it. but I will be doing it with all metallics. It's thickened up a wee bit on me. So I'm using Artist Loft paints. I have metallic black, copper, metallic white, and old gold. These are mixed at about a one to one ratio with the Floetrol. Usually I do one part paint, one part Floetrol, or two parts Floetrol. But I'm trying to avoid cells if possible. So I've made my paints uh, thicker than I usually do. Like when I drizzle it into the cup, it sits on top of the other paint for a second or so before it disperses. Just making sure everything is the same consistency. Before I get cracking. Okay. We look good here. This is a 14 by 14 inch canvas. And that would be uh, seven ounces, roughly. Uh, so I'm gonna actually do a little less than that because I plan on stretching it. Um, those numbers are the the chart that I have in my group, Go Make Some Art, um, those numbers aren't uh, necessarily for every, um, every technique. Some techniques you stretch your paint out a lot more, so you don't need quite as much. Um, for instance, if you're doing a flip and drag, you just need enough for your base coat and an ounce or two of paint, and you can do a big canvas with that. So let's get started. I'm going to do uh, layers, multiple layers. I think I'll do a touch of black in between. Why not? Now remember, black goes a long way, so you really don't need a lot of it. I'm kind of alternating layers. I'm not going for a very strict pattern. I kind of want all of those combinations to touch at some point. 
if possible. Uh, let's do a spot of black. Just a note, I have already prepped this canvas by spraying the back of it with water to tighten it up. It should sound like a drum when you uh, thump it with your finger. So this is a good consistency when you're doing ring pours. You can see there's no cells popping up. If this paint were thin, those cells would be popping up. So I have nice clean layers. Now I'm going to put down a base coat, but first I need to add a little water. My Floetrol, 10% Floetrol, 90% water mix to my base coat because I want that to be thinner than the rest of the paints so that it slides around easier. If it is thicker or even the same consistency, it will fight back and you won't get as clean of a clean edges. Oh dear, I hope that's enough paint. One thing I noticed with certain metallics, and it looks like the metallic black might be the same, is that they are so thick that there's so much, maybe it's the mica that makes it sparkly. Um, they don't seem to uh, work quite as well as a base coat. That's why I started mixing the white in with the gold. The gold was, or the gold was too thick and the white was too thin because I was using the flow acrylics. And when I was doing that extra thin paint to get the cells without the silicone, that particular brand of paint the Artist Law Flow Acrylic couldn't handle being broken down that much. 
but if I mixed it with the gold, it was perfect. And the gold was too thick, so it was kind of put me in that Goldilocks zone. So it seems like the metallic black might kind of be like that too, but it's okay. I used to have a bakery. It's just like decorating cake. I can get it smooth. Alrighty, let's pour, shall we? Now, because I have a base coat, this is probably still more than I need. I didn't need that much black. It's all right. Here we go. As you get to the end, you want to go a little slower. Okie dokie. Let's get to tilting. Actually, let me pop some bubbles first. Still get some cells. I think it's inevitable when uh, you use Floetrol, or I should say, when you don't want cells and you use Floetrol, <laughs> it's inevitable. The same rule applies as far as recentering your paint. Before changing directions, that will help you keep your composition.
sorry if that was not on frame. These bigger canvases are harder to uh, to keep in frame. So now I'm looking at composition. How will this look best? I want this side to be smaller. I like that. It has a nice flow to it. Okay, here she is. Be very interested to see how this is when it dries, being all metallics. Right now it has a lot of depth, but I wonder, and I think, that if the background were the regular flat black, it might even have more. We'll see. More depth, I mean. But that looks pretty 3D right there. Bummer about the cells. Tis what it is. Okay. Well, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. And uh, please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, have a beautiful day. Go make some art.